Hello, welcome back once again to Flutter Mystery. Um, today we continue from where we stopped the last time. That is from the splash screen to the slider page. And then on the slider page, we are going to use um images, you know, images to slide um yeah to slide from left to right something like that like what we saw in the other application and i i have created my own images let me quickly show you how it looks like yeah something like this i have three images and i have this one too yes and then i think this i have this one too yeah so you can also edit something like that it's just a matter of editing the size is um 627 by 1024 yes that is the image i'm using so i'm um, me not wasting much time let us just start uh, this video will be a sh short short one so let's quickly move on but um if you are new here to the channel please and please again subscribe to this channel and let us grow it together um if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so let's quickly move on so this is the app and then this is what we were able to do the other time from the splash screen it moves to the slider page and as of now the slider page is empty so um what we'll be needing is um this i need to install this plugin called um slider pro from flutter pub um let me quickly go there um flutter Hop. Oh, sorry. Flutter. Pop. That's where you get your dart packages, and this is called um sly carousel. Yeah, carousel, carousel something. Mm, how is it been spelled? Carousel Pro. Let's see this. Um, uh, no, 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 no. Let me, let me check the name here. It's called um, Car Carousel Carousel. Yes, I, I have it written here. Carousel Pro. Yes, this is it. So, we will install this Carousel Pro in our application. So, let's copy and paste this in our popsec.yaml just before the cappuccino yes I think so cappuccino icons so yes we have the carousel pro and then let's import this too what this does is, is simple it slides images yes that is what it does it slides images so the images I show you, it will be sliding them left or right, and then showing your your users what the shop is about. So let's just import it in the slider page. Okay, so this is our Carousel Pro. Okay, let's quickly move on with what we are doing so our body won't be a container again we love to use the carousel instead yes 
so um we will show indicator all these things are written they are here already you get them the show indicator um, indicator pardon all the features of this carousel pro you see it here so that's what I'm doing so I am writing this show indicator indicator should be false yes and then animation duration I think you can see it here um, it would delay let me just write it by myself animation duration so you have duration duration of milliseconds um, that's 600 and that's I mean six seconds yes and then our images images will be asset image asset image oh sorry and this image we are taking them from our images folder so images then the name of the image the first image is slider slider one dot png uh, yes so let's do this quick by copying and pasting let's not forget our comma okay so if this slide uh, one this will be two and this will be three yes so where is our okay mm -hmm. so um um okay let's let's run the app and then see how far we've been able to go and then continue from there This is taking a bit longer, but it will come. It will surely come. Okay. Okay. So from there, you can see our image is now sliding nicely. This is the slider page. So find fresh foods with ease and convenience fasted delivery to your doorsteps and then secure payment so let's um add a button a floating action button down here yes that we can press on like start as it's been in the other application something like that uh, so let, let's quickly do that so after the carousel We will be writing um floating action button floating action button dot extended oh 
let me let me let me bring it here so that uh, we can see it. floating action button float dot extended on press here we will we, we'll do with this one later so let's go to the label label should be a text a text which says start and we can add icon to it okay let's add this icon let me come down icon will be icons Icons dot arrow arrow right we do and then um background color I think it will be okay background color we will be needing colors dot orange accent will be okay okay so let's um okay wait, let me let me add an uh, elevation to make it look good oh, no no let me do that from here Elevation of 10 Okay, let me hold restart and then Okay, so our button has appeared here. So this is what it looks like You see this is what it really looks like mm. So um, Okay, let's add this to the button before we, we leave so when one press the button this is what should be done on press we should add um let's let's show a dialogue a dialogue with a rotating and um, circular progress indicator that will be rotating for some time before it moves to the login register page something like that okay so that's what we're gonna do so here we will show dialog we'll show dialog the context will be context sorry context and then a barrier Barrier. Barrier dismissible. Missable. Will be set to false. And then a builder. Builder should be builder context. Build context. Context. And it should return. center you should always remember your semicolons you should return a center with the child ok 
opacity and the opacity will be 1.0 okay 1.0 So the opacity must have a child. Uh, my mouse is misbehaving. A secular progress bar. Progress indicator. And it should have um, let's add this indicator have a value color value color which is new always stop animation animation and let's add this color here. As let me break it down and delete this value. Okay, so it's colors that orange accent. Um, so let's um how to restart and then press the button okay so this is what we've been looking for so i hope this helps and from here the next time we meet we will route this page to the login page and then so we will add a duration a time for let's say five seconds three seconds so it will load for some time and then take the user to the login register page thank you so much um with you i am always strong to bring new videos all the time so please and please if you haven't subscribed do so and if you're new just take heart and follow this tutorial step by step because you really learn a lot from this i will add the source code below the video so that you can go there and then um compare what you're doing with it if you're on the right path or if it's a mistake thank you so much for being there see you next time and it will be very soon bye bye